Welcome back to Book Break. Today's video is all about underhyped thrillers, and this one was actually requested by one of our subscribers, Tulika XXX, asked us to put together this list of underhyped thrillers. I thought this was such a great idea. We do make a lot of videos about thrillers here on Book Break. I can't help it. I'm kind of obsessed with the genre, but I have tried in this video to pull together a list of books that you won't find on every other thriller list. And it's a nice long list today as well, so settle in. Starting with Witness by Manda Sue Heller. So this is a dark, gritty thriller set in Manchester about Holly and her mother Josie, who have been moving from place to place until they finally move into an illegally sublet flat in Manchester. But Holly isn't allowed out, or even to answer the door when her mum's away. So Holly starts to feel increasingly isolated, and even more so because her mum won't tell her what they're hiding from but whoever they have been running away from is about to catch up with them. For a really twisty one, there's Your Truth or Mine by Trisha Seklecha. So this is about a married couple called Mia and Roy, who seem perfectly happy until one day a police officer knocks at the door with questions to ask Roy about the disappearance of a young woman. And so suddenly, everything these two know about each other is thrown into question, and there is just twist after twist after twist following such dark, complicated characters. You could draw a very complex diagram of all of the lies characters are telling each other in this book. For a super dark thriller, you should pick up Rattle by Fiona Cummins. So this one is about a collector who has an obsession with bones, and two children with bone abnormalities who capture his attention. So this one is really dark, properly scary, it's a very tense race against time to save these children before it's too late. And you can't even relax when you've reached the end of it, because there's then a sequel called The Bone Collector, which is every bit as terrifying. But for something much less scary and more quirky and mysterious, we have Of Murder, Muses and Me by Claudia Cibici Revniani. So this is about a young woman called Rosalind, who is completely obsessed with a best-selling author called Mark Drubenheimer, who right at the beginning of the novel is found dead, and the police rule it a suicide, but Rosalind is convinced he's been murdered, and so she sets out to solve this murder herself, meeting such a fun cast of eccentric characters along the way. And if that kind of quirky mystery is more your vibe, I have another cosy recommendation for you, this time set in an ice cream parlour, and that is A Deadly Inside Scoop by Abby Collette. This one follows our main character, Bronwyn, who has been renovating the family's ice cream business when two disasters strike on the big opening night. Firstly, a massive storm keeps customers away, and secondly, and perhaps more of a problem, Bronwyn finds a body in the snow. The body of a man who turns out to have had a long-lasting feud with the family. So Bronwyn now has to investigate this murder so that she can protect her father from being implicated in the crime, and she still has to help get the family's ice cream business off the ground. So that is the fun, quirky tone of this mystery, and the sequel is called Game of Cones, so that's pretty wonderful too. Okay, moving back to some slightly darker ones, I'm going to recommend Chameleon People by Hans Olev Lalem. So this one is set in 1972, when Inspector Christensen answers a frantic knocking on his door to find a young boy on a bicycle wishing to speak to him. But in quick pursuit behind this boy are Inspector Christensen's police colleagues. In the boy's bag is found a knife that perfectly matches the stab wounds on a body found a few streets away. The arrest seems pretty straightforward. But the boy says he didn't do it. He won't reveal his identity, but he claims that Inspector Christensen will understand soon enough. And then getting definitely back into the scarier ones, we have The Icelands by Stina Bragi. So this is about a group of 30-somethings in Iceland who set out on a camping trip. But before long, an impenetrable fog descends and they are forced to take shelter at a farmhouse. This is where things get really scary. The strange couple who live in this house barricade themselves in every night. And bad weather prevent the group from leaving this really creepy house, and stranger and stranger goings-on have them wondering if they will ever go home again. Untamed Shore by Silvia Marino Garcia starts off as a coming of age story set in Mexico, but soon it turns dark when a young woman meets three enigmatic tourists and quickly becomes involved in a murder trial. And my favourite thing about this one, there are sharks. So our main character spends her days watching fishermen pull sharks out of their nets and pile up the bodies on the beach, which sets the very dark, foreboding tone for the rest of the novel perfectly. The G-File by Hakan Nessa is set between 1987 and 2002. 
So in 1987, a private investigator is hired by a woman to follow her husband, who is called G. But a few days later, this woman is found murdered. And the chief inspector on the case becomes more and more keen to convict G of this murder, but G has a solid alibi. So in 2002, this chief inspector still always remembers the G file as this one case he could never solve. But then he receives a cryptic note from the private investigator, who claims to have finally found the proof he needs. Okay, next I want to recommend And Now She's Gone by Rachel Housel Hall. So in this one, Grayson Sykes is a new private investigator taking her very first case. She's looking into the disappearance of a woman called Isabel. But each new piece of evidence she uncovers suggests to her that Isabel desperately doesn't want to be found. So this is a story about two really interesting women caught in this dangerous cat and mouse game with each other and we get to see both of their storylines and how they intersect as this mystery becomes more and more intricate. If you're willing to step maybe outside your comfort zone into a tech thriller, I really recommend Recursion by Blake Crouch. So in this world, people are suddenly waking up with what is being called false memory syndrome. They suddenly have memories of entire lives, families, jobs that never existed. So we follow the storylines of a detective investigating what is going on, as well as a neuroscientist working on a new technology. And when we realise how these storylines intersect, I don't want to say too much without giving spoilers, it becomes so tense and page-turning. And finally, I want to recommend The Devil's Punch Bowl by Greg Isles. Now, Greg Isles has had a lot more hype in the US than over here, so I think we need to do something to match the level of enthusiasm for his special brand of southern gothic legal thrillers. This one is about Penn Cage, who is the mayor of his town in Mississippi, and finds out about illegal activities taking place aboard a floating casino. But then the friend who brought him the evidence of this is murdered. So this is a really action-packed thriller with a villain who will terrify you to your core and it's not for the faint-hearted either, there are some pretty brutal scenes. So I would love to know how you get on with any of these books and please do leave your own recommendations for underhyped thrillers in the comment section below so we can all get some more ideas for our TBR. And I will link the entire playlist here of all of the videos we have made on Book Break about thrillers so you can get plenty more inspiration. See you next time!